Okay, bless and beloved, I am Mama Pam, a.k.a. Pamela Dobson, and I do read, beloved, seven minutes every day so you don't have to read. Today's read is not for Thursday. <laughs> Today's read is for Friday the 13th. <laughs> Praise God. But I got a little song that um, they sent me that I need to sing for y'all, so let me get it out. Who shall I fear? Who shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. And who Shall I fear in the time of trouble? He will save me. Oh, in the time of trouble, He will save me. In the time of trouble, He save me so whom shall I fear one more time I said whom shall I fear whom shall I fear the Lord the strength of my life, and who shall I see? I'm just excited. I'm healed, y'all. I'm exercising my healing, exercising my healing. We don't have to fear anything because God is on our side. All right, here we go. Um, as we're dealing with the corona virus thing in the land right now, for this video will be for prosperity, for future. When people come to it on March 20th, 2020, they've almost called, um, what is it, military? They're about to call a Stanford Act in the United States where uh, everybody will be mandated to be inside. All right, we're reading the Word of God. John the 13th chapter, reading from the King James Version of the Word of God. And it reads, Now before the peace of the Passover... When Jesus knew that his hour was come, that he should depart out of this world unto the Father, having loved his own which were in the world, he loved them unto the end. And supper being ended, the devil having now put into the heart of Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, to betray him. Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands, and that he was come from God and went to God, he rises from supper and laid aside his garments and took a towel and gird himself. After that, he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel wherewith he was girded. Then cometh he to Simon Peter, and Peter saith unto him, Lord, dost thou wash my feet? And Jesus answered and said unto him, What I do thou knowest not now, but thou shalt know hereafter. So Peter saith unto him, Thou shalt never wash my feet, Jesus. Thou shalt never wash my feet. And Jesus answered him, If I wash thee not, thou hast no part with me. So Simon Peter said unto him, Lord, then not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. <laughs> and Jesus saith to him, He that is washed needeth not save to wash his feet but is clean every whit, and ye are clean, but not all. For he knew who should betray him. Therefore said he, ye are not all clean. So after he had washed their feet and had taken his garments and was set down again, he said unto them, Know ye what I have done to you? Ye call me masters and Lord, and ye say, Well, for I am, for so I am. If then your Lord and Master have washed your feet, Ye also are to wash one another's feet. 
For I have given you an example that ye should do as I have done to you. For verily, verily, I say unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord, neither he that is sent greater than he that sent him. If ye know these things, happy are ye if ye do them. I speak not of you all. I know whom I have chosen, but that the scripture may be fulfilled. He that eateth bread with me hath lipped up his heel against me. And I tell you, before it come, that when it is come to pass, ye may believe that I am he. For verily, verily, I say unto you, He that receiveth whomsoever I send, receiveth me. And he that receiveth me, receiveth him that sent me. Then Jesus, when Jesus had thus said, he was troubled in his spirit and testified and said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, that one of you shall betray me. Then the disciples looked one to another, doubting of whom he spake. Now there was leaning on Jesus' bosom one of his disciples whom Jesus loved. Simon Peter therefore beckoned to him that he should ask who it should be of, of whom he spake. He then laying on Jesus' breast saith unto him, Lord, who is it? And Jesus answered, He it is to whom I shall give a sup, when I have dipped it. And when he had dipped the sup, he gave it to Judas the Sicariot, the son of Simon. And after the sup, Satan entered into him. Then said Jesus unto him, That thou doest, do it quickly. Now no man at the table knew for what intent he spake this unto him. For some of them thought, because Judas had the bag, that Jesus has said unto him, Buy those things that we have need of against the feast, or that he should give something to the poor. He then, having received the sup, went immediately out, and it was night. Therefore, when he was gone out, Jesus said, Now is the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God be glorified in him, God shall also Glorify him in himself, and shall straightway glorify him. Little children, yet a little while, and I'm with you. Ye shall seek me, and as I said unto, Jew, unto the Jews, Whither I go, ye cannot come. So now I say to you, a new covenant I give unto you, that ye love one another, as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. By this shall all men know that you are my disciples, if ye have love one to another. Simon Peter said unto him, Lord, whither goest thou? Jesus answered him, Whither I go, thou canst not follow me. Thou canst not follow me now, but thou shalt follow me afterwards. And Peter said unto him, Lord, why canst I follow thee now? I'll lay down my life for thy sake. And Jesus answered him, Will thou lay down thy life for my sake? <laughs> verily, verily, I say unto thee, The cock shall not crow till thou hast denied me thrice. Chapter 14 Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. For in my father's house are many mansions, and if it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye may be also. And whither I go, ye know, and the way ye know. Now Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. If ye had known me, ye should have known my Father also. And from henceforth ye know him, and have seen him. And Philip saith unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it suffices us. And Jesus said unto him, Have I been so long with you? And yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that has seen me hath seen the Father, and 
He that has seen me has seen the Father. And how sayest thou then, show us the Father? Believest thou not that I am the Father and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not to myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very work's sake. I guess we'll stop right there. We'll stop right there. Believe me for the very work's sake. We'll stop on this is a good read. This is a good read. We'll stop right here and this will take us right into Saturday, the 21st already. My, my, my. This month has been going by. Thank the Lord for healing me. Y'all see the Lord healing me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I want to say thank you for being a part of the Smurf Club for your donation of $20 to paypal.me forward slash Pamela and or Cash app, dollar sign, Mama Pam 23. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you for healing me. I love y'all. Be blessed. See you at 7 p.m. live. Bye-bye.